Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Doris. Hello, hello. Hi. How is it going? Uh, aquí. I have a lock today because when I arrive in my house, yeah, the turn the turn down. Oh <laughs> no, no. Is, um, horrible, horrible. Really? Yes. So you know. Yes. Yeah, there's a, like a very heavy rain in here. Está lloviendo super fuerte, chicos. So I do apologize. En caso que no los escuche, pues voy a tratar de hacer lo mejor que pueda para escucharlos, porque sí, está lloviendo super fuerte por acá. Okay. So I was checking the chat. Selma, she was having some issue. Um, who was the other one? Selma, I guess she's not gonna be here in this class today. Jasmine and Hennessy. Right? So, oh yeah, Hennessy is just joining the class already. Okay, so let me say hi to you guys. Welcome back to this class. Remember, we are about to finish with this course, the advanced number two. We are just missing five extra classes because we're gonna be finishing with this course on Monday. So it means that, yeah, we still have like a couple of classes still pending. Um, as I was mentioning yesterday, the Topic for an unit number three um, is the same that we are going to be covering in unit number four. That is about the CSR, the corporate social responsibility. You know, we have a lot of information. Whenever it comes to this topic, you can find a lot of videos, a lot of articles, and you know, information. Quite interesting because there are so many countries that they are already applying uh, this model, and I can say that it's a really nice option, you know, because we have a lot of benefits. Our companies are getting a lot of benefits, but not only them, but also uh, society, people the stakeholders. I don't know if you still remember about the definitions that we were covering yesterday. So yeah, we have a lot of information when it comes to this topic. So let's wait for the classmates so we can have a quick review about the topic that we were presenting yesterday and we can move on, okay? In today's class, we're going to be having presentations based on three different questions, you know? But before I forget, I really need to check the attendance list. So I'm gonna be checking the attendance list in five or 10 minutes, right? But let me talk to you, let me listen to you. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Is it raining out there? Let me know, let me listen to you. Hi, Fernando. Hi. How is it going? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm a little tired, but I'm here. Okay. Like every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you? Uh, Doris, she already told me about her day. Erwin, probably he's there. How is it going, good, Erwin? Good. I am here, but I don't have the energy in my house. Ah, okay. Yeah. So I, I do it. understand, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So just let me know, okay? If you're having issues 
with the electricity, that's okay. If you cannot participate that much in this class, I know, I already know about that. Hi, Fredis, how is it going? Good. You're doing good? Yeah. Excellent, nice to have you here. Uh, Genesis. How is it going, Genesis? Good. I already have electricity in my house. Really? Okay, that's nice. We are glad to have you here. Okay. Thank Harvin. you. Okay. Harvin, how is it going? Let me say hi to you. Hi, teacher. Everything is fine. Okay. Nice to have you back. Uh, David, David Samuel, how is it going? Everything okay, teacher. Oh. We are in a uh, mm -hmm. race. Uh, you are? Sorry, I, I can't hear very well because yeah. of the rain. <laughs> okay, it's same here. Same here, yes. you know. I didn't get what you say at the end. But we're glad to have you here. <laughs> yes, thank you, teacher. Okay, Lourdes. How is it going, Lourdes? Hi, teacher. Oh, I'm fine. You're <laughs> Thank fine. you. Yeah, I just got dinner. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, you're ready for the class. Excellent. Madeline. Hello, Madeline. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Okay, okay. Same here. I'm a little bit tired too. Uh, Janari. Hello, Janari. Teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. So, William, I'm just missing William, right? Hi, William. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. My boss is texting me. Ok, uh, sí chicos, solo la recomendación, me piden recordar, eh, yes, en caso de que tengamos problemas con la lluvia, el internet, solo no olvidemos eh, tratar de siempre justificar en el chat para que quede la evidencia de que fue por problemas de electricidad o de internet, de que tal vez se desconectaron a media clase o no pudieron ingresar, siempre tratemos de hacer eso para que quede la evidencia, ¿ok? De que son por problemas que están, este, pues fuera de nuestro alcance resolver a veces en el momento. Igual, en el caso de que tenga algún bajón de energía, que a veces es bien probable que se dé en esta zona, eh, stay there, quédense ahí en la clase, yo regreso, incluso si necesito conseguir o seguir la clase con los datos móviles, lo voy a hacer así que, en caso de que me ausente tal vez un ratito, tenemos que retomar la clase. Ahí está, para que quede pues, la indicación clara. There we go. Okay, excellent. Hi, Francisco. Welcome back. Hello, to teacher. The Hi. Thank you. Good evening. Okay, so I'm going to be checking the attendance list in this moment. Please say here or present. Agosto nueve, aquí estamos. Today is Tuesday, very good. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Okay, he's not here. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Okay. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Okay. 
Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Excellent. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta. Present Chávez. teacher. Excellent. Present. Reyes Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Okay. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Okay. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn, no, she's not in class. Okay, there we go. So, in yesterday's class, we were supposed to introduce this topic, you know, the core elements. And we were also introduced or to present an sketch uh, based on a proposal of the CSR model. But let's make a quick review about the topic that we had yesterday so we can move on to the topic that we are going to be covering in today's class. As you may remember, the last activity that we were having, we were discussing about these different questions. And the last one, we didn't have like the, the time to, uh, for you to express, you know, the ideas that you have about these questions. And yes, as you may remember, the corporate social responsibility model. This is, um, as the name says, it's a model that is um, having a great impact, you know, in society. That a lot of businesses, but mostly uh, big companies are implementing, right? So the definitions that we were having yesterday, were these ones, you know, eight different definitions. So you can have like ideas because we're gonna be having some uh, examples, uh, reading texts in which we have this type of vocabulary. Um, so the first activity that we were having as an introduction to the CSR program, it was about the reputation and yes, we were having the definition about good and bad reputation as well. Uh, the stakeholders, I don't know if you remember who are the members or who are part of this group, the stakeholders, who are they? Only Employees. investors? No? Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. There we go. We have a lot of people, you know, good practices, of course. Whenever we talk about the CSR model, uh, yes, we are looking for uh, having good results, very good practices, right? This is based on good practices, right? Um, one of the um, uh, goals or course that we have with this model, it's about the environmental sustainability as well, because we're looking for uh, this type of uh, programs, activities that are going to have this great impact on the environment as well, not only in society, but also in the environment. So, uh, whenever we say go green, yes, of course, we are thinking about those type of activities that are going to help the environment as well, right? So, and the topic that we have for today, let me show you the topic that we're gonna be covering in today's class is about this. One. 
Okay, what is the topic for today? Core elements, core elements. And I was asking you about this one. What is, a, what is the definition for this core elements? Who can tell me about this core element? What comes to your mind whenever um, you listen? Elements that, that are fundamental in fundamental? life, in uh, companies, in organizations. Okay, in this case, in a company, right? Core elements. So take a look at the definition that I have here. Core elements. So let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, so he or she can read about the definition of this me, me key term. You? Go ahead, please. Core elements. Yes. The core elements that one must consider while establishing such as she is our policy are as follows. Okay. Core elements are components of a curriculum that must be maintained without alteration in order to ensure the program's effectiveness. They are required elements that represent the theory and internal logic of the program and most likely produce the program's main effect. There we go. So thank you so much, David. Components, they are components of a curriculum. Take a look at this information. That we cannot change. Remember that whenever we have this type of programs in a company, we must consider the opinion of different people people uh, who are part of this business, of this company, right? Employees, the investors, the owners of the company. So it means that you cannot be like taking or planning your own activities, taking their own decisions, you know, because if you're, you're part of this business, of this um, company, you all need to be in agreement with all the activities that you're gonna be implementing, you know, based on this uh, program, right? Or the policies, of course. So these components, um, you cannot be uh, like switching ideas, you know, because you think that, okay, maybe they are gonna be uh, better if I do this, but you know, the rest of the company or members of this uh, organization, they don't know about the changes that they're making. This is not possible, right? So remember about this, must be maintained without alteration. So in that way, we're gonna ensure the program's effectiveness. What else can we take from this definition? Look, the core elements. Are required elements that represent the theory and also internet logic of the program, which program the CSR program, right? And most likely produce the main effects, positive effects, right? So those are the core elements. Take a look at the examples that we have here. If you go and look for this information, this is the information that you're going to get, right? We have six different core elements, six. So let's have the first two, right? Let me have six different volunteers. So you can help me out reading the information. Six volunteers. Raise your hand if you want to participate. Okay, you're the first one, Genesis. Okay. Madeline, you're gonna be the second one, and Lourdes. Genesis, Madeline, Lourdes. Aquí vamos. David, okay, el número cuatro, you're gonna be the fourth one. Me faltan dos más. Vamos a ver. So Genesis. Okay. The first one. 
care for stakeholders. Respect the interests of all your stakeholders, such as shareholders, customers, suppliers, society at large. Okay. There we go. So care for stakeholders. Respect the interests of all your stakeholders. So I was asking you at the beginning of this class, you know, who are part of this, um, this program? Who are the members of, uh, of these uh, companies or organizations? The stakeholders are the customers, suppliers, society, and people who is involved in these companies, right? So this is like the main idea. The first element that we're gonna have there, it's about the care of stakeholders. Okay, second one, who's next? Go ahead, please. Okay, once again, please. Okay, ensure that your company maintains the highest levels of standards in ethics. Do you still remember about this topic? Ethical? and ethical practices. We were discussing about this, you know, as well. So as you may see, this is part, or this is an element of the CSR model. There we go. What else do we have here? Who's next? Me. Go ahead, please lower this. Respect for workers' rights and welfare. Ensure fair treatment to all employees by instituting policies covering key aspects such as safety, hygiene, training, healthcare, grievance, red, redressal, how do you say that? Redressal. <laughs> redressal, anti-discrimination, etc. Okay. Do you know the meaning of this class? Grievance. Drizzle. What is this about? ¿Qué se lo viene a la mente? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Or look for the definition. What is this about? ¿Qué es esto? Grievance. ¿O qué es grievance y qué es redressal? What is that about? Any idea? If not, let me show you the meaning. Reply a client? Mm -hmm. No. Take a look at the definition. Google it. It's not easy. Take a look at this one. No nos compliquemos. Use technology. It's yeah. about uh -huh, quejas. Exactly. So yeah. the receipt and processing of complaint. Así de simple. Las quejas, cómo procesamos las quejas, cómo las recibimos y cómo las procesa. In this case, the company, right? Si se fijan, ¿qué dice acá? Respect for workers' rights. Es parte del de elemento, un core element de, esta, de este modelo, del CSR model. Necesitamos cumplirlo también. Ok, next one. Who is still missing? Number four, I guess it was hey, teacher. Go, please. Respect for human rights, ensure that there are no human rights violations in the operations, either with employees, customers, society, production, labor, etc. There we go. Okay, but let me go back. Si se fijan, de que hemos estado hablando, o based on what? Están basados en society, environment, ¿En qué se basan estos cuatro? Stakeholders. And then we have workers' rights, human rights. 
¿En qué se basan los primeros cuatro? Las, they are based on the environment, society, people. Society. Mm -hmm. people. Society, right? People. Society or people. There we go. So, the first elements, yes, they are based on people. So, because it's very important, you know. Take a look at this one. Number five and number six. Okay. May I have probably Janari. Can you help us reading? I have here Janari, Fernando, or William. Okay, Janari, I guess she's sorry. Right. Sorry, teacher, you say what? Can you help us reading? Uh, which one? Sorry. The first one, respect for environment. Respect for environment. Yeah. And sure, sustainable, sustainability. Yeah. Of key natural resources and optimal utilization of land, water, energy to minimize, minimize or minimize, minimize, minimize. minimize the the impact on the environment okay there we go fernando go ahead please finish with this the last core element okay social and inclusive development respect the area that you work in you work in and the people that work for you include the community through economic and social employment activities there we go Okay, so the core elements. Let's make a quick review again. Care for stakeholders, ethical functioning, respect for workers' rights and welfare, respect for human rights, respect for environment, social and inclusive development. Okay, so let me present the activity that we're gonna be having in today's class. As I mentioned before, we're gonna be having a presentation, but let me ask you, what are the possible benefits that organizations may have if they implement these type of programs or models in their companies? What do you think? The benefits. Mm -hmm. Because remember that the corporate social responsibility, it refers to um, initiatives taken up by companies uh, who are trying to give back to society. Esa es como la idea principal, right? They are trying to give back. Tengo mi compañía, pero trato de ayudar a la sociedad, ¿no? Eso es la base del CSR model. ¿Qué beneficios tenemos entonces? What are the benefits? O las compañías, what are the benefits that they get if they are trying to help society in different ways? What comes to your mind? Are they going to have a positive impact or a negative impact? A positive impact. How do you say uh, incentive? How do you say? Incentive. Como incentivar una empresa. Incentivar. Is that a yes. benefit? Yes. To motivate? To motivate the... The, the, the employees, probably? The employees. Okay, I like that. Any mm. other benefit? Maybe they they can they can get pro, get profit. For example, there we go. Uh, Profits exactly. <laughs> yes, because uh, for example, uh, when you see a, a maybe a product that a company. You, you, you saw uh, uh, maybe an announcement or in social media, they, uh, they, they were doing well 
some things with uh, maybe needed people or with the environment, you will remember that uh, sometimes that is a, a good publicity for, for the company. There we go. There we go. Excellent. So let me present some of the benefits, right? Of course, we have so many examples, you know, but I just have eight different examples about the benefits that organizations can have whenever they are trying to implement the CSR model, right? Take a look at the eight different examples. What are we going to do? The first activity that we are going to have, as you may see, we are going to be um, discussing about this, okay? You're gonna take from five to 10 minutes, go listen to your classmates. Maybe you have some other ideas, right? Maybe you have some other benefits and we can have a, a bigger list at the end, right? About the benefits, right? So take a look at this that we have here. Go talk to your classmates about some other benefits or discuss about these benefits that we have here, right? The first activity is going to be like an introduction because the main task that we are going to have in this class is another one, right? First part is discussion. Let me send this picture to WhatsApp so you can read the information. And please remember whenever we go and work in groups, I really need you to interact with your classmates because sometimes we don't have like that um, extra time for you to participate in the class, right? So please go talk to your classmates. If possible, have your camera on so you can see each other, you can interact with your classmates. And one of you, share your screen try to discuss the ideas that we have there. This is the purpose, right? Si trabajamos en grupos, no solo uno habla or just two of you. Todos participan, okay? So, vamos a ver. First activity, discussion. There we go. Lo voy a poner en parejas mejor. Así me aseguro de que todos participan. Here we go. I will try, teacher, but it's really difficult for the rain. But okay. I will try. So groups. Vamos a grupos, not pairs. Okay, here we go. First activity. Here we go. David. You are sending me to different rooms. Okay, go to room number It's the, be the benefits of CSR for organizations, right? Okay. Um, 
positive impact in the community. Improve brand image. Increase customer loyalty. Better employee morale. Increase revenue. Enhance the ability to attract top talent. Reduce employee turnover. And greater employee productivity. Do we have to look them up or just discuss them? Maybe we can research a, a little about it. If we don't know, for example, exactly what what means, okay, we, can, yeah. we can research before. Just before. Mm -hmm. Okay. improve their their brand because I think that they have a good reputation if they do those things. Yes. Um, I have a question. What do you think about the the certamen de belleza that the the dance uh, organize for? For have um, more money. I think I don't believe in that kind of events or movements that they mm -hmm. do because, for example, uh, in this well, at, at the moment, I don't believe in Peloton, and I think that if they don't have. A lot of yeah. people that they need to, so they have the necessity. And yeah, I I, I asked because um, well, I am re I was reading about the this like of or certamens or certain that in Santiago de Nualco is near to my house. But in this case, the mm, el alcalde eh, eh, offer mm, the mm, around fifty thousand, yeah, fifty thousand dollars for the the program. Yeah, for the program, but the, the, the money, it, the idea is that the money uh, will be to in, in inverter in, in a specific project. Mm, I don't say how to say it. Something and, for the community. Yeah, exactly. Be, because the, the, the gift or, or my, Oh, the idea is is to to improve the 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 street or the or the school that the community needs. But 15 mil dollars is más o menos una buena oferta. Yeah. 
it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And the other one in Greece is summer loyal. Loyal. And that is where. Hey, you can see. <laughs> it's raining here. Oh, in, in my area, it's the same. It's raining. Uh, the number three, yes. three increase customer loyalty. Well, I yeah. think that. Uh, I, I, uh -huh, it, probably. it can be a benefit because, uh, for example, if the organization try to motivate their employees to gain, I don't know, honors or motivate, uh, motivate them with only work, mm -hmm. I think that the I'm sorry, it's summer. I was talking about the employees. <laughs> I, no problem. But at the same time, they have positive benefits, both of yeah. them, because the employee try to do the best work and the customer uh, try to go uh, to that company. Yes. Yeah. I, I am thinking about the uh -huh. yep. I am thinking about the the better employee tomorrow. Uh, I think that in 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 my job the resources humans are offered some incentive for all employees. Uh, for example today the the manager of resource human uh, he said that the the company offer a new service that you can to uh, the the company launch the the app but in this app, you, you came to, to buy the different grocery. Um, but the, um, I don't know how do you say, el cobro será aplicado a tu planilla. Uh -huh. Es algo así como, como comprar, digamos, en el super. Pero el supermercado lleva hasta la empresa el producto o los víveres y te los entregan. Pero el descuento va a ser el, 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 el pago. ¿We are having problem, Lourdes? Uh, I can hear you, maybe William can't. I, I, I can't hear now. It's... Raining a lot. No, I'm sorry. I can hear you. Okay, I guess you guys are having some issues, right? I don't know if you finished, Fernando, with your group. 
Did you finish discussing or you didn't? We didn't, to be you honest. Didn't, right? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I was visiting the different groups and yes, most of them were expressing that they cannot... Um, it, is, it is difficult to, to hear. Because of the because rain, of the rain right? yes. You can hear well. Muy bien. No hay problema, chicos. Vamos a modificar la actividad entonces. Because remember, the idea is for you to practice as much as possible, right? But don't you worry. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. So let's see. Vamos a hacerlo en general, right? This is going to be uh, like a general discussion, right? Because it is very hard for most of you, right? No pueden escuchar por la lluvia. Yo, same here, you know. Vamos a ver. Okay, let's think about some extra benefits. ¿Qué pudieron eh, discutir de eso? Vamos a ver. A positive impact in the community, right? Of course, this is what we're looking for, to help society in a way that we have like that positive impact. Right? So examples about this, or what do you think about the first one? A positive impact in the community. El que pueda escuchar, que me ayude a participar. Please. Let me listen. What is this about? A positive impact in the community. Uh, I was talking with uh, Lourdes about the company here in, in Santa Tecla. Uh -huh. That uh, put the name of all the streets, oh, wow. and uh, it uh, it seems a, a, a little thing, but it was important because there are streets that are uh, easy to find. If you the first street, the third street, the fifth street. But uh, there are uh, Avenida Siriaco Lopez. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you find that? It's, it is difficult. Uh, in, in this time, uh, you use ways and you can find it. But exactly, it's a in the past. Way. In the past, is uh, we don't have ways. We don't have a uh, something like that. And it was important. And in that company that. Uh, company was a small company and it was not easy because the, the I don't know how to say alcaldía, eh, la, 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 la municipalidad la alcaldía, cobraba, ah, okay, okay, okay. Co cobraba the company paid to the to the county the, the a, 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 a fee monthly fee they were charging you, yes, a monthly fee. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, even though it's a, a public <laughs> service, the the la alcaldía was charging the, the monthly uh -huh. free, but they do it, and it was important for, for the, the city. Oh, okay. There we go. So was this like a positive impact in the community? Example. Ese fue un ejemplo, David. Yes, because uh, everyone can uh, see what is the name of the street, how to, right, to get some directions. Yeah, right. So. Yeah, having like this. Uh, this positive impact, right? Any other example about this one? A positive impact. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Perdón, Fernando, pude. Tuve que, que hacerlo. Vamos a ver. Otro ejemplo. Improved brand image. For example, I don't know if you remember about Coca-Cola, that they are like trying to 
uh, interact with people. Siempre tienen like this impact, you know, in community, even though we know that we don't need to uh, drink, you know, Coca-Cola or we better drink water. But you know, they always have like this great impact, you know, or the brand image is always, eh, I don't know, no, no, no decae la, la, the brand image. Why? ¿Por qué piensan que pasa eso? The brand image. Like those big companies, Coca-Cola, it's a great company. ¿Qué otra podemos mencionar, right? In the case of the company Coca-Cola, because we are addicted <laughs> <Okay>. to Coca-Cola. <laughs> Even though yeah. this is not a great impact, you know, but... Yeah. But why? Let me ask you why. ¿Qué hacen ellos para tener ese brand image? What do they do? Because mm. this is part of the CSR program, you know, model. Yeah. The corporate social responsibility. Have you ever heard about um, how they help people, the community, the environment? ¿Qué hacen? Al contrario, I don't think they are helping the environment, right? No. <laughs> yeah. They aren't. Anything. Uh -huh. They aren't. So how is it that they get this uh, the yeah. brand image? You know. I think I think it has to do with their ads. Because whenever they make ads, they make it seem like they are super or people friendly and and their families, families uh, getting exactly. together to drink Coca Cola, especially on Christmas. That's what yeah, comes to mind. Right. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yes, uh, one of these days I was passing by uh, La Gran Vía. And there are like those big ads que te le dicen, they tell you, right? Para que necesitamos Coca-Cola. If you want to watch <laughs> some movies at night, you can have like, uh -huh. or you can drink Coca-Cola if you're with your friends. Pero no, no sé si se han fijado. ¿Qué tipo yeah. de personas usan? ¿Qué vemos en la imagen? Like old people, people oh, with those... <laughs> eh, I don't know, with issues, I don't know. What type of people do we see in those ads? Yeah. They are very relatable. That's why they are successful, I think. Okay, exactly. Because, yeah, the, it, they portray uh, very common activities that we do, that uh, we do. with our families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it makes you feel like at home, like, through the ads that they show, through the thing. yeah. And there we go. And you will know why I'm asking about this, you know? Exactly, this is what they try to uh, make you feel like, that you're young, that you look good, that whenever you're with your family and you need to spend like time together, yeah, why not, you know, have that drink, you know? What, yeah. what would happen, you know, si los de agua trataran de hacer esa imagen, you know, las compañías like, can you mention some companies? ¿Cuáles son las que promueven el agua? Which ones? Cristal, cristal, ajá. Alpina. Alpina. <laughs> But why no, not? Roca. Agua de la roca, ajá. Perlitas. <laughs> Perlitas. Perlitas, right? Why not? ¿Por qué no lo pueden hacer? But those are big companies as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that the person pre uh, prefer to... In, <laughs> I know some person that they uh, prefer so to buy uh, uh, Coca-Cola than uh, water of water. Water than water, really, okay. Yeah. So, Cristal, let me compare this one. Water, water that is good for your health. Mm -hmm. la Because it's boring. In la constancia. <laughs> what, what do I make you feel? La constancia. Because right? water is boring. That water is boring, <laughs> right? That I know that we really need to drink water, but now you instead <laughs> go and get this product, right? Tiene que ver con el marketing también, exactly. So the positive impact. 
They are going to have this improved brand image as well. Customer loyalty. What were we discussing? We were discussing about this, right? The customer loyalty. Of course, this is what they are looking for, right? To have the loyalty. So customers can go back to get the product again, to recommend the product or the, the business as well, right? Better employee model. ¿Qué piensan de esto? Los employees. That is, um, the company uh, is uh, trying to improve themselves to make their employees feel good. Okay. That the employees will then work better and will be, you know, happier and that they will have, you know, respect the company's ethics and procedures more because they are happy, not, um, you know. Exactly, or they feel part of this uh, group, right? So have you ever seen the same, right? The, the call center ads, los call centers. Yeah. ¿A quienes proyectan? Old people, you know, or people between their uh, 40s and 50s, come and join us, not right? ¿Qué personas utilizan en los ads? Or what are they trying to promote? Young people, right? They look happy, join us, you know. Pero ¿qué personas ven ustedes más que todo? What type of people? Mm -hmm. Or what age group do you see in those ads? Young people, millennials, <laughs> generation <Yeah>. C, <laughs> the, the, the generation. We, Kevin, can get tipo de persona ven, right? And let me ask you because this will take us to the next topic. Hmm? So let me present the questions that we have here. But let's finish with this one. Antes de movernos, increase ah, the revenue, of course. Esto siempre va a pasar, right? Eh, enhance ability to attract top talent. Top talent, right? If I motivate people, of course they will want to be part of my team, of my company, right? They will be, you know, working you know even under pressure they they, they will they won't care about this right because they will have this like top talent uh, people employees and they will make uh, them feel like part of this company as well uh, they will reduce of course the employee turnover yes this is a benefit of course for organizations because they don't want to be like switching people you know from time to time they want to have like those top talent uh, employees you know to stay there for a long time and of course the productivity so as you may see we have a lot of benefits that companies can get based on this so let me present the two questions that we have here this is the group work that we are going to have in today's class why is the corporate social responsibility important in the 21st century? Ya más o menos tienen la idea. Why is it important? ¿Por qué es tan importante, right? What age group cares most about the CSR model and why? ¿Qué es un age group? Can you give me examples about age group? ¿Qué es esto? Age group. The range of age, or the uh -huh. young, uh, adults, uh, child, or children. Okay, young, uh, adults, pero le llamamos de una forma, right? We have like a specific way of calling this group. Uh, like X generation. There we go, David, there we go. Like. X generation. Do, do by any chance do you know in which age group you are? Like 
eh, o de qué parte? You're part of? ¿De qué age group? I, I am baby boomer, teacher. Ok, baby boomer. How about the rest? Millennials? <laughs> I think the, the, the most of the students are millennials. Millennials, right? I think, yes. Millennials. There are, boomer. there are some others like that are uh, three generations. Exactly. There we go. A eso me refiero con age groups. Those groups or those uh, categories. Así le llamamos a los millennials, generation. There we go. And the last question. Can CSR be ignored? What is your opinion? You know, ah, uh, yeah, right. We can have like some other different like ideas. Now it's not necessary to have this type of models or programs in an organization, in small businesses. They don't really need to implement those activities. What is your opinion about this? Can companies ignore the CSR model? I know companies, uh, they are getting great results, right? They are having a lot of benefits. But yes, I think that we can ignore about that. What is your opinion? As you may see, we are going to have three different topics and I'm also providing you. Of course, you know, here in these links, you can have like this extra information, but if you need to have like extra examples or extra information, go to the web. Busquemos cualquier artículo que nos Funciona, right? We are going to be working in groups. Um, can, can you share that in the, in the Zoom teacher, in the chat Zoom? Sure, sure. Tres preguntas, right? Que nos van a ayudar muchísimo a tener como una diferente perspective about this top, right? Because we are going to find out about why is it important? Can we just ignore this model? And what age group cares? most about the CSR model and why. Um, what do we need to do? First, go and read the information that we have there, okay? Or get the main idea about uh, the information that we have there. Number two, discuss the information with your classmates. Number three, go and have like kind of slide, one or two slides, PowerPoint, Canvas, I don't know, be creative, right? Or a Word document, that's okay, that's all right. And try to have this information in an organized way so you can present the information to your classmates, okay? These are the different steps that we're going to have for this activity, read, discuss, present. Okay, le voy a asignar los grupos ahorita. And of course, I'm gonna be sending this information to this chat and also to WhatsApp. So you can check the information. And please let me know if you're still having some issues or ya dejo de llover chicos, because here yeah, it stopped raining. No sé si ahí también ya dejo de llover. Okay. It's still raining. It's still raining. One, two, three, four, six groups. Vamos a hacer seis grupos. Let me see. Six different groups. Mm, pero me quedan en parejas. So not really. Let's make three groups. Okay, vamos a hacer tres grupos, but please, cualquiera puede participar, right? This is the idea. Whenever we come back to the main room, I really want you to participate, okay? No solo los mismos. Luego se enojan y dicen, teacher, ¿por qué solo los mismos participan? I don't know. They really like to participate, right? So try to participate as well. Group number one. Wait. 
Antes de que entremos. Wait, 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 wait. Group number one, David, Doris, Lourdes, and William. David, Doris, Lourdes, and William. You are going to have the first topic. Why is CSR important in the 21st century? Ese es su tema, okay? Group number two, Erwin, Fernando, Madeline, and Yanari. Van a tener what age group cares most about the CSR model and why? Es el segundo tema. And Diego, Francisco, Freddy's, and Genesis. You're going to have the last one. Can CSR be ignored? Ahí están los temas. Ahorita se los envío. Antes que nos vayamos a los grupos. Ok. Just give me one second. Group number one. This is your topic. There we go. Group number two, this is the topic that you're gonna be discussing about. And group number three. Ahí está. Okay, you are going to have like 20 or 25 minutes to go read the information and then be ready to present that information whenever we come back. Aquí vamos, chicos. Here we go. The question is, yeah. the question is to, to read the information and make uh, something like uh, summarizing the information or something that can uh, get an idea to the rest of the, of the students. Okay. We need to, to read it. And I, 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 Today I I do you I want to read? I, today is using my phone. Uh, I don't have internet. In, you are you are in your me, phone. In my phone is so difficult uh, to participate. At one hundred percent. Yes, I, I understand. It's raining, you know? it's raining hard. Okay, read it for parts. Uh, 
Let me see. William, can you read this part, please? Okay, sorry. The multi-phase notion of CSR sometimes poses challenges for both business leaders and scholars. However, there is no doubt that there is a general global acceptance of the social responsibility concept. Okay, today CSR is an integral part of the overall business strategy. Corporations no longer ask themselves if they should incorporate CSR in their activities or not. They only ask which CSR activities should be included in their business. Each stakeholder has its own priorities. So the main challenge for the corporation nowadays is how to balance out the different stakeholders demands which uh, can sometimes be complete and conflicting. The primary stakeholders of a corporation are shareholders, employees, the government, customers, suppliers, local community, and the environment. Solving the problem of the critical stakeholders adds real value to the goods and services of the company and it also increases financial success profit in the long run okay thank you and uh, lourdes please read the rest the primary drivers okay mm, the primary drivers of csr uh, involve around the so-called triple bottom line, consisting of profit, the traditional measure of, of performance, corporate profit, people measuring how social, socially responsible an organization is in its operations, planet measuring how environmentally responsible the organization is. The main CSR activities in the first century include Corporate philanthropy, cost related marketing, sponsorships, codes of conduct, social and environmental report, reporting, stakeholder engagement, strategic community investment. Okay. Go ahead, Doris. Este... <laughs> Lourdes. Okay. Uh, eco efficiency, socially responsible investments. Apart from greenwashing, there are a few other CSR controversies that have been a frequent discussion topic in the business and academic world. This include tax evasion and tax avoidance, social responsibility of corporations in the extractive industries, the self-regulating nature of CSR, and etc. Many corporate scandals prove that socially irresponsible behavior can be fatal for a company, and the future is in sustainability, which was recognized by the students as well. Sustainability is a concept that goes beyond CSR and ensures the long-term long survival of business organizations. Okay, thank you. There are some words that are not easy. Mm, okay. Multiface. I need to know some meanings. multifacética mm. 
احنا عندنا فلوس بتشتري فلوس سريع دي ولا سوبر دي شفتيها كمان لا زين سوبر دي ناس بروبيس 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 And what was this one? Uh, what word was here in the last farm? This is a very interesting proof that can be fatal for a company. What's the topic in the text? Ah, this one, greenwashing. This part of greenwashing, what is greenwashing? I don't know what is greenwashing. Uh, no. I think that that can be in a presentation. Do you have PowerPoint? I know. Yes, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have. Uh, if you are sharing your screen, maybe you can open PowerPoint. Okay. is sharing the screen. But in the first information, I don't know if you have a uh, read something that can be in the PowerPoint presentation and I will put. Can you share your screen with PowerPoint? Yes. Give me a second. Can you see it? Mm. Fernando, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the the top the, what I group care most about CSR is are are the millennials. Are two millennials is the group. Okay. We have to justify why. I share something in the chat. I don't know if you can read that. Mm -hmm. Let me see.
Did you, did you read the thing that I said? Yes, the, 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 the two, but uh, we have to put the explanation about the about each group. Mm -hmm. uh, in the part. Business must adapt to the times as the summer are both in with the water. Maybe you can you can do a list or or reason because the millennials and Gen Z are the most the most the most that that, that they care most about CSR. We can do a list with different reasons. Okay, the first one. Uh, uh, in the part, the millennials are willing to pay extra for sustainable offering. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that could be. And millennials are more firm in their support of corporate, social, and environmental efforts, efforts and are above them and beyond more likely to say they will participate in CSR initiatives. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it is the same article, but I found another article. Can you uh, share the the thing that you believe is good? Yes, for the for example, in the title, you can you can put millennials or Gen Z, and we can we can do three slides. And one for millennials and two for and another for for Gen Z and at least why they are most engaged with the CSR uh, in the, in the companies. Uh, I okay. Say I for millennials. We we have to do a list for millennials. What is the reason? First, because millennials. Okay. Did you For send example, me the information the, now? Yeah, in the chat. Okay. Uh, I will show you the. But you know, now that you mentioned the Millennium Plaza, that is a, a great example. Uh, what Freddie was also mentioning about how people, through a, just one video, one TikTok, they practically canceled the whole building and they closed it just because they had they had uh, built or they had taken the over the, the, the sidewalk. Area. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, that's a good example because they were not respecting CSR. Uh, they were not thinking about uh, the surroundings or the mobility of, yeah. of the... You know, and the, and what happened? People found out because nowadays it's super easy through social networks to find out about these things. And you know, they took action. People took action, and it worked because now they had to fix it in order to keep functioning, right? So that's what happens nowadays when people, when companies don't respect or don't follow CSR. Yeah, right. because uh, they are too, well, or the principal um, objective is to, to increase and have more, more money. But yeah. They don't import the, the, the security of the other person. Exactly, because it, you know, they, it was, I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it because they, they, practically blocked the sidewalk just to have like uh, 
their facade would be more, you know, um, what? Just to have more space. Like they took over something that they didn't even own, own in the first place. So they were not thinking about people. They were just thinking about, you know, the, yeah. themselves, right? So yeah, yeah, that's a good example of how uh, social networks nowadays have a huge impact, you know, because it all came from one TikTok that somebody made about that and it blew up and everybody found out the, the news and they covered that and everyone was super angry about it. Yeah, and you know, compared to what the whole building is, that was nothing for them to fix. Like, they, it wasn't gonna cost anything. In planet, profit three, uh, people in planet. This is our, the three primary drivers of social, uh, corporate social responsibility. And uh, the, the last part is this, the main activities. The main activities are these nine activities. What are the main activities? Maybe we need another. Oh. Twenty first century include corporate philanthropy, cause related marketing, sponsorships, calls of conduct, social and environment environmental reporting, stakeholder engagement, strategic community investment, eco efficiency, socially responsible investments. This is the mind. And uh, this uh, the controversies, and the last one is the controversies. During Washington, there are a few other CSR controversies that have been at frequent discussion. This include tax evasion and tax avoidance. The social responsibility of corporation is destructive industry, the self-regulated nature of CSR, etc. Okay, I think we are ready.
Okay, are you guys ready to present the information? Yes, we're ready. There we go. So we're gonna be presenting three different topics. Well, not topics, right? Question. Let me present the information. Okay, group number one, two, and three, because I only have three groups. So why is CSR important in the 21st century? That is the first question. So I'm gonna be ready to listen about the information that you have, guys. Please try to participate, okay? Here we go, group number one, are you ready to present the information? Yes, teacher, I am ready, but, uh, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. My computer <laughs> is still, uh, okay. I think it's okay, it is ready. Okay, go ahead. And, okay. We are talking about the corporate social responsibility in the 21st century. And that is important because uh, the companies not, uh, uh, are not asking about if, uh, if they do or not do. Yeah, there is not a question. To be or not to be is not a question like in Shakespeare. The question now is uh, what kind of social responsibility or what kind of program we need to do. It, uh, uh, they take care of the, uh, all of the stakeholders, uh, shareholders of, of the company, uh, the employees, the suppliers, the society, the, the, all of the people that are involved in the process of the company. And they try to do the best for all of them. That's the, the, the main problem in, in this uh, century, not uh, if they do or, 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 or don't do, they seem they need to do, but now the question is what kind, what kind of, of program in that uh, part they need to do. And we hear, uh, I asked to, to Lord that please read this part. Uh, there is a general global acceptance. Sorry, sorry. I, I was <laughs> making big. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, there is a general global acceptance of the social responsibility concept. Corporations no longer ask themselves if they should incorporate CSR in their activities or not. They only ask which CSR activities should be included in their business. Yes, that's what I was I saying. It's part, yeah, it's now accepted, a global acceptance. The next part, William, please. The primary drivers of CSR, sorry, CSR evolved around the so-called triple bottom line, consisting of profit, the traditional measures of performance, corporate profit, and then people measuring how socially responsibility an organization is in its operations. And about planet measuring how environmentally responsible the organization is. Okay, thank you. You know, the bottom line is the most important part of a, a situation or a company in, in this car. There is not only one bottom line, but there are triple bottom line. Uh, always, uh, obviously, the companies are looking for profit. Then they need to take care of the people and they need to care of the planet. 
Exactly. Is the, yes, and uh, I don't know if Doris was having problem. They they are in the in the with the, the phone because they don't have electricity or internet oh, in the I house. Already, already, okay. So, Doris, can you read? Are you there? I guess she's still there, but probably she's still having yes, some issues. Yes. Yeah. They have some situation. Okay, the main, the main corporate social responsibility activities in this century, 21st century, included the first one is corporate philanthropy. The second one is a co-related co marketing. Number three is sponsorships. Number four is codes of conduct. Five, social and environmental reporting. Number six, stakeholder engagement. Seven, strategic community investment. Eight, eco-efficiency. And nine, social responsible investments. But uh, uh, they have a, a controversy. They have some controversies too. The first one is the greenwashing that uh, companies uh, that are uh, uh, going against the uh, environment, they do companies to protect the environment, to, to hide the, the fact that they are uh, being harmful to the environment. This is the name of, uh, of, the, of this problem, greenwashing. There are about uh, uh, tax evasion, tax evasion like uh, Teleton. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> the tax avoidance, the same meeting, mm -hmm. and a social responsibility of the corporation that uh, not do what they need to do. These are some situations that uh, they need to control. There are, in some countries, there are uh, organizations that go against this incorrect uh, practice. And that is, teacher, about the uh, CSR in the 21st century. So, yeah, we may say that, yes, uh, people, they are, like, accepting this type of model, you know, or they are, they are getting involved. So I don't know if you can present the second one, the second slide. This one? No, the other one. Okay, there we have a summary. Si quieren como tener la idea principal, like the main idea, de eso se trata, the CSR, right? Profit, people, and planet. Yes. Profit is like a benefit the companies get. People, they're trying to be like socially responsible, trying to involve people, and also about the planet, right? Trying to be responsible with the planet, helping out the planet in this way. As he said, this is the trata. Muy bien, David. Okay. okay. Questions you, or comments about this class? Reclamos, aumentos de sueldo, cualquier cosa. <laughs> Not really, they say. Vamos a ver. So, group number two, are you ready to present the information? Group number two, ¿qué tenían ustedes? Yes. What age group? cares most about the CSR and why? Vamos a ver si encontraron información. Let me know about that. Go ahead, please. Group number two. Can you see? Yeah, Marilyn, we can. Okay, uh, we found uh, that millennials uh, are the most important or that they uh, pay attention with the companies that uh, follow the, that model. And we think that millennials are willing to pay extra income extra for sustainable uh, offering and as we mentioned before in the class uh, if the companies have sustain sustainable 
see send uh, there are more people that want to pay or for a service or a product and we found that millennials do uh, that and uh, at the same time more than nine or in 10 millions will switch brands to one associator with accounts and this uh, that means that if the companies try to help to the society or uh, with the environment uh, the millennials follow that and try to uh, know about the company and pay for for the service uh, fernando i don't know okay um well uh the millennials uh always are are more willing to purchase a product with a social and environmental benefit uh well uh, you know the, the same uh, uh in our time the social media is very very important and you can find uh, uh, the company for example you can watch the social media of the company instagram facebook and when you so, so the, the 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 millennials the, the major the mayor of millennials maybe uh, when they see maybe a good publicity for for the environment uh, you you can uh, maybe hear comments like uh, uh, with we I, I have a coffee but without a I don't know how do you say pajilla or but uh, maybe tiny things but for 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 the millennials uh, can be the difference for the environment for the society and different that, that is a, a, an example but uh, they are promoting they are promoting uh, that those companies uh, maybe they they change maybe the, their preference with the, some brands that I commitment with the environment, with the society. Uh, maybe they they think, uh, well, the, the, this run is better in, in, in quality that that that. Better. But I saw a video that uh -huh. uh, that that company maybe tried their, their product with uh, with an animal, for example. And well, oh, yeah, your, right. your your main change because you you when you are we we'll try to purchase a product like that you you remember uh, i saw a video that the the, the videos said that they tried the, their product with animals so i i don't i don't have to to buy the products again and maybe i change the product because of that. and this this is a good uh big impact uh, it's a it's a dangerous too because we we don't have to to do credit for everything we you read in the internet or you saw in internet in videos you have to to reach it before but it's, it's another it's there, there is another topic no 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 uh, it's part of this topic as well <laughs> <laughs> and they always are maybe available to participate in some programs for example uh in in the Salvador, you can you can saw different, for example, mar marathon. I don't, I don't know what to say marathon is. Yeah, in that way. And you can saw a lot of pictures of people participating in that in that type, kind of, of events. The, they yeah right. Example, Even though if you if they don't like to exercise on a daily basis, right? Yes, but some, some companies uh, offers to the mm -hmm. to the to their employees. If you participate, we can maybe you can you can have a a, de, a daily day. I don't know a, uh -huh. a extra a extra day off. Okay. Extra day off and, and on the week or maybe a, a bonus. But the the, the idea is uh, pro promote promoting and, and I don't know they a, a campaign that they are they are. Uh, promoting in, in social media and maybe make the, their brand grow, grow up. Yeah, that's right. 
That's so, it. Yeah, yeah, I still remember about that. Uh, Fernando, he was mentioning about las, the strolls, las pajillas, right? They are like ah, yes. in Subway, creo que hay un rotulo, right? That they are like not really asking you, but like motivating you. If you don't need yeah. it, do not take it, right? Or do not ask for a straw. In, in Burger King too. Uh, I exactly. remember in Burger King a, few, a few years ago when mm -hmm. you always buy a, a combo, I don't know, a, uh -huh. a combo or, or a, an hamburger with uh, your, uh, to your drink, your fries, and they, they always put in your, in your cup or your, the, 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 that, how, what is, how do you say? Straw. Yeah. It's an optional, it's an optional part of the combo. You you have to ask for for it if you want. But so yeah, so what is the conclusion, guys? Millennials, why millennials? <laughs> why and millennials? We, we were reading about an article when they mentioned uh, the Gen Z, but the Gen Z. It's different. They maybe it's not it's not commitment like the millennials with that with that accounts, but uh, uh, they they don't trust the companies. Oh, okay. They are maybe interested in maybe researching about the companies, and if the companies are, are saying the truth, are, are told the truth, I don't know, are saying the truth. Uh -huh. yes. If, if they do. Uh, really, the, that I said, not only because they watch an announcement or, or something like that. They they are maybe trying to to to, to looking for maybe proofs. I don't know, maybe proofs that that exactly. I that I, I, don't, I. They are not easy to convince. So probably it's not that they don't care, you know, but it's very hard for them to trust, right? They need to see like results so I can be part of this type of activities or this type of program, right? But millennials, so yes. Ahora ya saben, quienes les importa más, right? Millennials, they, they are very easy to convince. Or we are very easy to convince, right? So we are uh, willing to participate in those type of activities you know so interesting excellent information let me see comments questions about this topic if not we still have like some extra minutes for group number three can csr be ignored what is your opinion about this okay can i share my screen sure go ahead Okay, um, so um, we were discussing uh, that it's not, it's not good for a company to ignore CSR nowadays because uh, today with the technology that we have and the accessibility to social media, um, like, my classmates were saying anybody can look uh, can look up a uh, company's reputation on the internet and consumers are uh, frown upon companies that ignore social responsibility and develop unethical reputations. So um, while companies can actually ignore CSR, uh, if they want their business to succeed, they they can't, they shouldn't. So uh, like we, we were discussing also that millennials uh, nowadays, they have more, they're more likely to have uh, CSR influence their decision to either uh, consume some uh, product from a certain company that, uh, if they, if the company does not share the same values, they are more likely to not, you know, work with them or buy from them. And um, it says here that you have to be transparent with your practices 
and honest with your customers because otherwise you will you would lose your uh, the trust people's trust and it, it is the most um, fragile relationship that companies can have right and we were discussing this example that um the power of social media nowadays because um through a, a TikTok video, um, the, there was it, it was published that this Millennium Plaza, uh, they took um, they built uh, over a sidewalk, and as you can see on the picture, this picture, the the sidewalk was uh, the, they they had built a ramp that was directly you know um, going to the street. And it didn't connect to the sidewalk anymore because they built like a, a car ramp. And the, the there was somebody that made a TikTok about it and it blew up and authorities uh, found out about it. And uh, they closed down the building for a while until they, they fixed that. And, you know, it's really sad because in order for them to build whatever uh, anything they have they need to have permissions first so authorities most likely knew about this but it wasn't until uh there was uh outrage people's outrage about it that they actually uh reacted and did some they closed down the building but otherwise if nobody had said anything uh they wouldn't have done anything about that i guess so i don't know if my classmates uh want to say something else about this um, yeah okay Francis, I, go ahead. Uh, thank you uh, i i would like to to say that uh, uh in some case uh, we need to to try to to improve or, or, or use the the equipment that the company uh, give for for protect the, the the employees because I I was talking about that we have a a case in in my job that the coworker had uh, for a issue they he he lost his fingers but the the problem the principal problem is that the the the, that the co-worker, he said that he does not like to use the, the equipment of protection. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. for, for, for these issues, they, they lose his, his fingers. Wow, imagine. But yeah, it's, it's very, uh, for, for his is very heavy because, wow, I, I do not imagine uh, if I don't know how the my fingers because it's es 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 por decirlo así como la herramienta principal de uno I know because yeah. the, the fingers are very important but uh, in this case the company try to to conceal with the with the employees because the principal problem is is that he don't like to, to use the, the equipment. So yeah, in this case, probably as you may see, uh, who's gonna have the, like the bad reputation in the end? Is it the employee or the company? That the company have a, a yeah, bad right. rep like a reputation because the uh, is less being visto. I don't know how do you say. Mm -hmm. It's not like. Yeah, you know, because probably, yeah, they have like the equipment, they have like those guidelines, but they were not supervising employees if they were, you know, using the correct equipment, right? Yeah. But, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I, I would, I want to also add that, you know, DSR, as we were discussing, is mm -hmm. about the company and the shareholders. Yeah that are the employees as well. And I think that 
in that case, we were talking about how it was also the employee's fault and the company's fault because they should yeah. have been surprising him, but he should have wore the equipment that was given to him. And because I have seen myself as well that there sometimes uh, workers don't want to use the safety equipment and that's where they also are at fault. And I think they... Although, although the uh, company, although the mm -hmm. company, uh, most of the company has uh, some, pers some persons in charge of, uh, of being, uh, yeah, to see that everyone is using their special equipment because um, you know that um, that's how the company can avoid uh, many accidents. I was giving them an example before I used to work on Disagro. In Disagro, um, they, um, there was a, a, like a industrial security um, person, personal. Mm -hmm. they're, they're actually, they were in charge of being on the three plants in the Cajutra plant one, plant two, and plant three. Uh -huh. um, their work was actually to see that you were using the right equipment in order to do your job. And uh, when the company does that, it's good for you too, because um, when you follow the rules, even though you're getting um, um, something better for your health, because in my case, I was working on a place where we were um, um, using chemicals and we were using um, cal in order to make a product. So we're used to... Um, using a special mask and when I when I said to the to the industrial uh, security man that the mask that was using it was already um, has due to um, the filters and I'm, I'm not going to uh, work anymore until he changed it I was in my right so if we had, if they didn't change it in that day I would just go to the workplace and sit down into they give me a new mask or new filter. So in that case is good for the employee and for the company too, because um, you won't get injured and the company won't get sued. Yeah, that's right. So that is a great example, Previs, because you know, as he was mentioning, as you were mentioning, you need to be working in the same line, right? Because remember, you're part of a group, the company, the employees, the, you know, all of these people involved. So yes. The whole chain. Yeah, right. So, wow, and interesting, Freddy. Because there are some employees that they don't really care. For example, in your case, you were protecting yourself, right? Because you knew the consequences. Yeah. Uh, there are some other people that they don't, I don't really care, you know, um, if they uh, are not giving me like this extra mask for protection, yeah, I won't ask for it. But in your case, you did. And that's, that's good. You know, it's telling us that you really care about your company and also about yourself and your health. Interesting example. I don't know if you have any extra comment. Not really. Mm -hmm. Diego, he was working with you guys. So maybe not, right? <laughs> so interesting. So you all guys, you did a great job today. You see we have been it's discussing about the same topic, you know, and we now know a little bit more about this stuff, right? In tomorrow's class, we're gonna have like a different topic. And on Thursday and Friday, yeah, we're going to come back to this topic, the CSR program, but we need to work in the platform. Mañana nos toca ya, work in the platform, right? So be ready to work on those exercises tomorrow. Let me check the attendance list. So we can stop the class here. Vamos a ver la segunda vez.
Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Okay, he was not in the class today. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. I'm here. Excellent, Diego. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Excellent. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Is he still there? Yeah, right, he's still there. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Excellent. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here. Genesis de teacher. Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Yes. Sorry, teacher. I am here. Ok, excelente. Okay. Aquí está la asistencia. Muy bien. Génesis. Present. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I guess he's not longer here. Yasmín Marisol Escobar Flores. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Kenia, let me see if Kenia is still in the class. Kenia, not really, right? Lourdes Monterrat Hernández Blasco. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Yanari. En no. Joseph Nivel de Arriba Tabaca. Ok, class, so we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining this class today, participating. And I really hope you to have a good night. We are going to. Uh, continue with this topic in tomorrow's class. Bye bye, class. Have bye, a good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take bye, -bye. Care. bye. bye.